Hey folks, this is I always throw on back with some more World of Tanks Sergeancy. This is Bean Hole Bandit, and he is in his IS-7. This is a tier 10 game on El Hoof. We're going to bump that minimap up so we can all actually see it. Um, so this game actually wasn't sent in by Bean Hole Bandit. Um, wait, why are all my settings changed? Oh, World Tanks, I love you. Anyway, so buy up over there in... Um, I'm not certain what he's in, actually. Looks like he's in the WZ-120. Um, is the one who sent this in. Um, he says this guy was on his team, and we have to see the game. So, behold, Bandit, if you see this, this is your replay, and thank you so much for having it. <laughs> not necessarily sending it in, but next time, I'm sure you can do that. Um, so, I'm going to have to get used to all this weirdness of my game being all wrong. But anyways. <laughs> he's zoomed it. He looks like he's going to come up to this corner. He's going to look to side scrape off of it. And deal damage to guys down there. Or he just might poke. It looks like. You know. He's in fact going for the heavy. They're going to try and cross that area. Um, Sorry. It's early in the morning. I got to get this done. Or you guys aren't going to have a game today. And that would be bad. Especially since I managed to flub the last two days. One, by having horrible stomach problems. And uh, the other, by just not paying attention to the time. <laughs> really, is, is, is the main reason of that one. Sorry. Um, okay, well, Jaggy 100 is apparently going to just walk through the middle of everything. So we're just going to shoot him. Because why not? Um... I mean, if he wants to die, right? <laughs> this is when I get to tell if I can see what, <laughs> what tanks are which. Without hitting the alt button, which is showing... See, this is the way I always have my wall tanks. So I can actually tell what's what's what. This is just the worst thing possible. So, unfortunately, th there isn't time for me to change it. Because I got this one shot to record. So, we're just going to roll with it. And then I'm going to tell world tanks to screw off later. Oh, yes, please. Look at that great job. Thank you, <laughs> Yagzilla. Yeah, just go ahead and show us that Lord Glacius. Let us track you in such a way that you can't possibly fix it in time. And we can retrack you. Unfortunately, we just get hit in the side by the AMX. It does not look like an AMX. That's because it's a 50 vertex. And um, I saw the wrong tank. <laughs> yeah, so you can see down here what's shooting me. Us. 50 TP. Um, actually getting destroyed by artillery right now and tracked in a great location. Managed to get a decent shot into his lower glacis and then back off. That guy is going to be held there in position for a little while. Maybe long enough for us to reload and come back. Oh, and then he flubs the shot and then we flub the shot. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> and buy up gets the kill. And um, it's, it's not like I saved our, our lives or anything, but it is really convenient. Try and get the shot down and into the Tiger 2 there. It does, in fact, manage to do it. Except that was an E75 and not Tiger 2. Me and my, uh, <laughs> my brain obviously is still asleep. Which I, I would really like to be right now, but it's just <laughs> gotta record, right? Okay, so he really wants to come over here and start uh, hitting these guys, but he knows if he does that, he's just gonna get hit in the back by that T10 and e ELC even 90. So instead of doing that, he's gonna have to sit around here for a little bit and see which way they commit. Knowing that the E100 is committed back here. He can now press on this T10. T10's not even looking. Well, okay then. We'll just do a bunch of damage to you when you're not paying attention. I personally think I would have jumped down there into the ravine with him. Because that would mean A, you'd be saved from the E100. And B, you'd pretty much be guaranteed to be having your armor pointed at him. Whereas like this, yeah. Oh, except the T10 flubs the shot and instead of... Hitting us in the lower glacis, which he should have. He doesn't. 
So now we're gonna trade places with him. He's gonna shoot us in the back, which is completely our fault. And then, and then we're gonna get the armor points towards him, finally. And unfortunately, he does in fact pen that shot. Good job, but unfortunately for him, wait, did we do just do the exact damage to him that we have left in health? That's cool. So for a second there, we were on the exact same health up until we killed him anyway. Huh. Except there's still about half of the enemy team left. So not quite reason to celebrate yet. I'm going to skip up behind this E-100 who is actually approaching Biop. And if Biop doesn't get some help, he's going to have problems. Ooh, get spotted by the E-100. I didn't realize the E-100 could see that far, but obviously it can. And, um, I don't think it turned around. No, it seems to have continued in the exact same direction. As if we weren't even there. Biop is going to pop up behind it and shoot it. It's not going to kill it, though. And so we go ahead and pop it around into it. Or rather, Beanhole Bandit does. And uh, takes down the 100. Now, it could be a little bit before we spot another enemy. Especially since we seem to be going the long way. So I am, in fact, going to speed this up a little bit. Neither of us has the time to sit here and let this uh, play out. Oh! Oh, except... The bat chat does something completely strange. I did not, in the wild, wild of streams, I did not expect to see a bat chat up here. Um, no, don't don't auto walk onto a scout tank. Back up, back up. Oh, nice job. Well, that's a dead ELC. <laughs> Just don't auto walk onto him. Haven't been auto walking all game. You don't need to start now. Biop helping out, and both of them together take down the even 90. And then. Bandit just ignores the Batchat. He is, in fact, focusing on other targets. There is an SCRV way across the map, a Scorpion G way across the map, and artillery somewhere. I don't think he's going to find another target. Oh, the artillery apparently is here. It's worked its way all the way up to here, um, but it's still a ways away from us. So we're going to speed up because that guy is probably going to take out yeah, see, they've taken out the Arto before we even get there. Um, and now you really are just going after an STRV and a Scorpion G. And it looks like Beanhole is just going to stay back here and let Biop do the spotting. And then he's going to do the sniping. Unfortunately, any STRV has trashed. So there's only a Scorpion G left. He's way over there. There's no way we get to him before this game is over. So that is going to be game. Um, this was a great one, and I really did enjoy recording it. Oh, no, we might actually... Nope, never mind. <laughs> Stolen! So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, let's jump over and see what he did. And, Beanhole, if you end up seeing this, please send me more replays. This was great. Okay? Okay. I didn't even notice. <sighs> Lord, okay. Apparently we have a Spartan. Is that from the T10? I don't remember when we bounced the shot when we were less than 10% health. Um, oh, it was with the bad chat, wasn't it? Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. That's not the point. <laughs> Ace tanker, spotter, bruiser, fire for effect, four bonds. Uh, of course, we talked about the Spartan. He also got high caliber and steel wall. And just look at this. I, I mean, I knew we did a lot of damage, but I wasn't really keeping a running tally. Obviously, I should have been. Because that is a lot of damage. 6,400 damage is wow. I, I didn't realize we'd come nearly that close. Actually, I quite enjoy the fact that the Bat Chat has 600 damage on the enemy team. And he's their top experience earner. I assume that's from a ton of spine damage. Um, none of which was on us. So I don't know what the rest of the team was doing. But they obviously just got themselves murderized for no good reason. Over 100,000 credits for this game. And he made money. Obviously, he wouldn't have made money if he was on a premium. Or unless he was on a premium account. 
but still making money in a tier 10 game when you're using this much gold is awesome and well done because uh, he pretty much did just spam gold that game uh, though most of the time he did in fact need it so I'm not gonna worry too much about it um, well done overall 1700 damage blocked of course if he'd not blocked a single one more of those shells he would have been dead even the bat check could have killed him at the end there um, and on top of that he also got 26 on her spotting because why not right well done overall thank you so much beanhole bandit for saying this in oh wait no thank you buy up for saying this in thank you beanhole for playing this and I hope I could see another one of your games because this was legendary and you sir are in the 6k damage club now uh, because that would definitely grant you entrance <laughs> Well done. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Throughout.